official the first pumpkin spice latte of the year oh my goodness me i can literally smell the pumpkin-y goodness from here oh i could not be more excited but good morning everyone it is feeling like a really really autumnal day this morning i've just made my morning coffee for the day and i've actually just replenished the um coffee capsules which is always such a satisfying job to do there's nothing that makes me happier than when like lots run out at the same time and i can fill them all up and i have officially put the nespresso pumpkin spice capsules out these oh, amazing if you want a pumpkin spice latte at home these are so so fab i always love being able to like top this up and just have it looking like really full and lovely it's always so annoying though because they're never full all at the same time um one thing alex loves doing is like staggering them he'll try and deliberately have a coffee capsule so that they kind of like go up in a spiral um but i do love the coffee capsules the um pumpkin spice latte capsules from nespresso i picked these up the other day and that to me is a signifier that it is the start of autumn. Another signifier that I feel like I need to do is change over my syrup. Um, so I've been using vanilla almond recently. Um, and I don't know if you remember, but back in was it August or September, um, I picked up some new syrups from HomeSense. Now, is pumpkin pecan waffle too much pumpkin to do with a pumpkin capsule? Potentially. That is potentially pumpkin overload, but if you don't have a espresso machine and you do want a hit of pumpkin, amazing. You can also buy them on Amazon. What else do we have in here? We've got vanilla caramel creme. That sounds like a really, really nice one. Um, oh, hazelnut. I love hazelnut. I usually kind of save this one for maybe more like October times. I feel like that to me is like a bit festive. Um, but I'm so excited to have this coffee this morning because I've not had a pumpkin spice latte in such a long time. And I should probably get one from Starbucks. But honestly, I feel like ever since getting my Nespresso machine, I just don't really drink coffees out as much anymore which is fab because it means it saves myself a lot of money i can make a coffee pretty much just as good at home so usually even if i'm, I'm like going into london i'll take it in like a flask do myself a coffee at home and then just take that on the train but i'm gonna sit and enjoy my first pumpkin spice latte of the season another signifier to me that autumn is officially here and summer is officially over is that i finished my favorite summer candle last night like it is completely gone i'm undecided whether to reuse this pot i feel like it's a gorgeous candle um glass but i don't really know if i would really get much wear out of it um but this is the coastal cypress and sea fennel candle and if you are looking for a beautiful like summery candle something really fresh something that's perfect to burn throughout the summer time so i really struggled to find candles in the summer this honestly was my favorite but now that it's officially gone i feel like it's start time to start burning my more autumnal scents so that we can get really really cozy um i'm still leaving it there because i just love how the pot looks i also love this little setup that i've got going on i've got my basil my mint and then the little truck that i got from um uh the antique store which i really really like because it's so easy just to grab i can pop outside and get whatever veggies are still left in my veggie truck which i'm not gonna lie to you is not a lot um but i should probably swap this over for something a little bit more seasonally appropriate but that to me is like a real symbol that summer is officially over the summer candle is gone it has been burnt it is finished and we're officially in autumn my goodness me would you look at that autumnal sunshine streaming through it it's just my favorite thing in the world just like a crisp sunny october day i love it but i wanted to have a little bit of a sit down because i feel like it's been ages since we've sat down here and this is always one of my favorite places to do a bit of like a collective haul or unboxing i have quite a few new in things to show you i actually didn't vlog the other day i ended up having quite a few meetings um, and had like a really really busy day and i actually popped into west key in southampton which is where i picked up the pumpkin spice latte nespresso capsules and i ended up doing a little bit more shopping whilst i was there i must admit the zara in southampton really really good so I have a few new things from Zara I've got a couple of bits from New Look I also picked up some sportswear so I thought we could do a little bit of a collective haul and I can show you some of the new in pieces in my wardrobe that I'm kind of adding in as more like transitional styling pieces it's actually been quite a warm October it's been weirdly mild this year and I feel like 
when it comes to like the depths of winter it's very easy to style because you just put on like your thickest jumpers like your coziest knits when it comes to summer styling it's super easy because you just have lovely floaty dresses this time of year is the hardest when it comes to styling especially for like evening wear and i'm actually heading out this evening which i'm really really looking forward to so hopefully one of the new in pieces will be a good outfit for tonight but let's get into it let me show you what i've been picking up so let's start with the zara pieces now i am such a creature of habit i am the epitome of the real that's like if i like it i'll just get it in another color and there was a shirt that i bought from zara this year it was the blue and white striped shirt like really parisian really kind of like french style and i wore it quite a lot throughout summer and i have realized that they brought this out in lots more colors and if there was one color that i was like this is going to work so well with like my evening wardrobe it is black and the way I'm kind of envisioning styling this is with my little reformation skirt, like something a little bit lighter on the bottom. But I feel like just having a black silk or satin shirt in your wardrobe is so easy to style for like evening outfits. So that kind of like laid back, effortless, but like dressed up look. Like I feel like leather leggings would look amazing with this. Black wide leg trousers would look amazing with this. Slip skirts would look amazing with this. Short skirts would look amazing with this. Like the list is endless, which is why I wanted to add this into my wardrobe. Now I do size down in these shirts. I do find that they come quite oversized. So I got a small in this one and I found that that fit me perfectly in the blue and white stripes. So hopefully that will also fit perfectly in the black. And if I like it, I'll just get it in another color. <laughs> So I also picked this up in this gorgeous like champagne -y color. I don't really know how to describe this, but this is just the most beautiful kind of like beigey champagne satin that I have ever, ever seen. Now I know I keep saying silk satin to me, they're very similar. I know that this isn't like real silk, but the material is so soft. It literally feels it and it's really lightweight as well like look at the way that the material moves it is so so beautiful so i thought this would also be a really gorgeous one to wear for like evening attire especially maybe more in like summer this is the kind of shirt that i can imagine keeping in my wardrobe for literally ever i know i talk about ageless fashion a lot but i really love adding pieces into my wardrobe that i can wear in my 20s in my 30s 40s 50s and so on and this is the kind of thing that i feel like is like a really ageless design like i do feel like no matter what age you are you can style this up in a way that, that would work for you and that's what i really really love about these so love the champagne color i feel like that's another color that's going to work really really well in my wardrobe and at this point i feel like the only thing i can say is that i have a problem i have a real problem but they had so many colors to choose from i did well only picking three they had so many more stunning colors that i was really toying between but this one i just thought would be perfect for festive styling i know i know it's still a little bit early to start talking about that but i feel like i'm in the spirit i feel like i'm ready for christmas i've already started unboxing advent calendars i have my first christmas event coming up and i just feel like i'm ready to start prepping my wardrobe for the festive period and this stunning forest green color I fell in love with and I feel like this is going to be so perfect for Christmas styling I do end up having like a lot of events a lot of evening do's Christmas parties I need to be in London a lot and sometimes I do run out of outfits so I feel like this is a really easy one again to style up I feel like it's going to look a little bit festive but not like you're a full-on Christmas tree not like a full-on glitter ball if you're someone that likes to style your Christmas outfits in a much more subtle way I feel like this is perfect for you now I don't really know if I would get much wear out of it throughout the rest of the year because I do feel like this green is quite a festive green but that's okay for me because I feel like it's the kind of thing that I can bring out of my wardrobe every single Christmas I do have quite a few outfits like that actually I feel like if you invest in some really timeless classic classy Christmas outfits you'll bring them out of your wardrobe every single year and they will never date so I feel like that's what that shirt is for me and whilst we're on the Christmassy hype I feel like I've just realized how similar these are like look at the colors <laughs> that is barely any difference but this was actually on sale in john lewis and i just could not resist this is actually a real silk like um not satin or anything like silk mulberry silk pajama set and i just fell in love with it i love the piping detail that runs down i think it's so so beautiful and it is like a matching set now around christmas time i love wearing festive pjs especially when it comes to like shoots when it comes to christmas morning i feel like it's so so lovely and i have quite a few kind of like berry mulberry color i don't have anything in this green and again it's very festive it's a little bit christmasy but it's much more subtle so i thought this would just be perfect to add into my wardrobe so if on the first day of vlogmas you see me wearing this just know i picked it up now 
I was ready. Your girl had some preparation on her mind and I just thought this would be the perfect thing to wear around Christmas time. Honestly, it's so soft. I just can't get over this. Okay, moving away from festive wear. Now I actually popped by Sweaty Betty as well because there is a, I'd say new, it's not that new, but it opened maybe like last year. Um, Sweaty Betty store in West Key, um, which is amazing. And the girls there are always so useful and so helpful. And I needed some new gym gear because I am going to the gym a lot more often now. I'm doing like a lot of different types of workouts. And I really wanted to get a pair of leggings that I'd be able to wear as gym leggings but also it's just kind of like comfy everyday wear and i do feel like a lot of the leggings that i have in my wardrobe are very much like gym leggings like they suck you in like they're really comfy they stay up when you run but it does mean that they're not comfortable to wear day to day so i picked up two pairs um i basically got the same pair in the longer length and the shorter length they call the shorter length a seven eighth which is really weird like to me i want to call them three quarter lengths but i guess a seven eighth shows that it's not quite three quarters it's a little bit longer but anyway um so these are the all day leggings uh, and the girls literally said to me that they live and die in these so i just picked both up in the black and i thought it'd be quite nice to get the full length for if i'm wanting like a real cozy day at home put socks over the top get like really nice and snuggly and then i wanted a shorter length so i can wear them and have a little bit of ankle on show you know when you want to wear like I don't know, just like um, vasures or you want to wear ankle socks. And I always find it so flattering when you just get that little bit of skin. Um, so I really liked the fact that these are high-waisted. Like, they do have a really nice elastic band. But they are just so much, like, softer, looser, less... They feel less, like, sporty and just more like gym leggings, which I really, really like. So I'll be able to wear these at the gym, but also at home. And throughout autumn, winter, I live and die in leggings. All I want to wear is, like, cozy jumpers and leggings. And if you watch my Phase 8 haul, you'll have seen that I have some gorgeous jumpers that I can wear with these leggings throughout autumn, winter. So really excited about those. Then lastly, I've got a couple of bits from New Look to show you. This really has been, like, a real collective haul. I feel like I cannot remember the last time I've done a haul this kind of, like mismatched and like jumbled but as i was strolling past new look i was having a little look at some of their jackets and as i said i feel like we've had a really really mild autumn it's been quite difficult in terms of styling because i do feel like if there is one thing i'm missing in my wardrobe it's those transitional coats and jackets and there is one thing that i've been wanting to get for such a long time and that is a black trench coat now if you know me you'll know that i adore black in autumn winter i mean i'm literally wearing a cute little black paisley print dress right now um but i've never had a black trench in my wardrobe and i feel like they're just so timeless they're a staple for a reason they're a classic if you know i've got my burberry trench coat the gorgeous like camel color and i wear that every single season sometimes i just want to wear something a little bit different i also quite like that this was a bit shorter and i do feel like sometimes my burberry is a little bit too long depending on what i'm styling what i'm wanting to wear um so when i saw this i thought this was so so cute and it was literally 49.99 so so affordable and one of those pieces that i just feel like again it's ageless it's timeless you bring it out of your wardrobe every single year and i'll be able to wear this throughout the autumn months but also throughout the spring months because we always have a bit of a showery like april here in the uk and i feel like trench coats are all i reach for then um so i picked this up in a 14 because i do always like to size up in my coats i usually go for a 14 in coats so that if i want to i can put chunky knits underneath i can layer up underneath but I can also like cinch it into the waist and make it more of like a silhouette if I want it to. So I thought that was such a good patch. I feel like it's so difficult because I'm very like backlit for you to see. So I will do a try on so that you can see what this looks like on. And then the other thing I picked up from New Look is such a like boring practical purchase. But something that I was really missing from in my wardrobe. And I feel like if this isn't like being an adult then I don't know what is. Like coming with age really does come responsibility. Like the things that I buy now are so different to what I used to. But I realised I was really missing, like, a good raincoat in my wardrobe. We've had some heavy showers recently. A couple of, like, storms and a lot of rain, which is very normal for here in October. Very, very normal. The irony that we've got a beautiful sunny day today, but I'm not complaining. I do not wish the rain on us. Um, but I was really missing mainly a coat with a hood. I don't really have any coats with hoods in my wardrobe. And I do find it really, really difficult to find, like, a nice... 
aesthetic raincoat so when i spotted this in new look i just had to pick up it's a really really gorgeous like khaki green color now again i think i picked this up in the 14 i did indeed this was 34.99 so such a good price um and living out in the country this is something that you just really really need to have in your possession because the amount of times you're going out on muddy walks you're going out when it's raining and you want to make sure that you're like practical comfortable you are wearing what you need to be wearing so one of those really boring purchases but especially here in the uk an absolute necessity to have in your wardrobe so pretty excited that i finally have a hooded raincoat you're growing up ellie you're growing up <laughs> oh my goodness me i am so happy with these shirts i mean look at the fit of that that is exactly what i was looking for do you know what i feel like it's another thing that has come with age wanting more fitted pieces i feel like when i was younger i just wanted to oversize i wanted loose i wanted baggy like i would have probably gone for a medium if not a large in this shirt Whereas now I'm like sizing down because I want it to look a little bit more fitted, a little bit more feminine. Like I want it to look like it's actually my size. Um, so I've just started up with some wide leg trousers and some boots. Super simple outfit. But I feel like this just looks so elevated, so elegant. Like this to me is a, I just threw this on and yet somehow look so pulled together. So chic and so cool, which I absolutely love. And I feel like you can really like style the outfit up with your bag. Oh, hang on. How cute does this look? This is like a little Demelier number. This is the New York bag. I got this earlier on in the end. I haven't really got the wear out of it because to me, this is quite a festive bag as well. I feel like this is going to be my evening bag throughout Christmas time because I just love that it's got this like gold, almost kind of like crushed gold effect. I think it's so, so pretty. And again, it's like sparkly Christmassy without being like in your face glitterable. So I love that. And I feel like it really helps just to kind of like lift the outfit, elevate it a little bit more. And I feel like with your jewelry and the rest of your styling, you could really, really elevate this to another level so love this shirt i think it's so beautiful i'm going to be able to style it in so many different ways and it's the kind of thing that's just going to last in my wardrobe for such a long time i decided to style this one up with a bag because how cute does my new little longchamp bag look with this my goodness me it's adorable i love it. i feel like a little 90s shoulder bag is the perfect thing to change this outfit up from something that's maybe a little bit i don't want to say boring but like untrendy and like just add a little trend element to make it a lot more current so i really really love that i feel like these just work so well with wide leg trousers but as i said you could do like leather look leggings you could do leather trousers you could do jeans you could do silk skirts like there are so many different options um and i love the color of this i feel like it's such a beautiful color really lovely like champagne it's ever so slightly see-through but i'm not really worried about that do you know what you could do is actually make a feature of it i've seen some girls do this before where they'll deliberately wear like bright colored underwear like a red bra underneath is so like a pink bra to really kind of like show like off the sheerness and make it a bit of a feature i'm definitely not brave enough for that but if you are hats off to you go for it um yeah i feel like this is going to be another really classic piece of my wardrobe that i'll definitely get the wear out oh, of oh my gosh i'm just in love i'm absolutely in love with all of these shirts this one i feel like i was the most unsure about in the store is this button undone it is um i was the most unsure about whether i would like get the wear out of and how much i'd like the color and actually now that it's on my goodness me why buttons so difficult to do up one-handed <laughs> There we go. Speaking of the buttons, actually, I really like that this kind of like tortoise shell. I think they're really, really beautiful. Um, but yeah, this is the colour I was most unsure about, but I do think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this. And actually, now that it's on, I feel like I can probably get away with wearing it, not just at Christmas time. Let me know your thoughts. Would you wear this like throughout the rest of the year? Do you feel like this is just purely the kind of thing you'd wear around Christmas? I'm a little bit unsure, but I do love how it looks again with the wide leg trousers. These shirts, I just think timeless classic elegant i love them and as i said there's so many other colors navy blue i think would be beautiful as this close to buying the navy blue they had more of like a hot pink they had a white run to your local zara or i will leave the um product code link down below as well for you guys so i've just chucked the leggings on just to show you quickly i feel like i don't really need to show you both because they're exactly the same pair of leggings except one finishes above my ankle and one definitely does not if you're a short girl you need to get these seven eighth leggings from sweaty betty because they actually fit so nicely in length and oh my goodness these are so comfy i really love the fact that they are high-waisted but like really stretchy i don't feel like there's like a band sitting on my tummy which is really really comfortable and you don't need to worry about your um pant line or anything like that showing through behind because they are really nice and thick but still really really soft so love these they work so perfectly with my little new look 
weight trainers, which I've been wearing a lot to the gym. And as I said, these are going to be great for gym leggings, but also at home leggings. I feel like I understand why they're called the all day leggings because they are kind of just like everything <laughs> leggings for me. Oh my gosh, this trench is absolutely beautiful. I know it was really difficult for you to see it before. And I do feel like even in the mirror, it's hard to see because it's just completely plain black. Like even the buttons are black. You can only just about kind of see in like reflections as I show you. Um, but it is stunning. It's got a really nice like big collar. It is double breasted um, and even undone as well. I feel like it looks really, really nice. Just like really easy to wear. I actually kind of like it with this outfit. I feel like this is giving me just like running out to yoga, going to Pilates, picking up the kids in my Range Rover. Like I love this coat and I feel like it looks so much more expensive than it actually is. So well done, you look. I feel like this is an autumn staple for my wardrobe. Well, this is giving a very different vibe to the last coat, but exactly what we need it for. In fact, this probably goes better with what I am wearing right now. Um, such a gorgeous, gorgeous raincoat. Do you know what I really like as well? The fact that it covers your bottom, because if you want to sit down on like a park bench or something, something that's a little bit wet, it means you're not going to get your bottom wet. It's going to protect you nicely. I also love the fact that you can um, do the hood up and use these elastics to like really pull it around your face. You know, you just look like a little, like a little pea head poking through. Um, but yeah, love the colour, love the fact that it's just a really nice khaki green. I am glad that I went for a 14 though, because it's actually a bit tight in the arms. So I would definitely recommend sizing up once, if not twice, depending on how much you want to layer up underneath. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to get a jumper underneath with these arms and shoulders. So just something to think about. But yeah, perfect raincoat for autumn. So as I mentioned earlier, we are actually heading out this evening, which I am really, really looking forward to because we're seeing our friends, Emily and James, who we have just gotten so close to recently. Like we just absolutely love hanging out together, love catching up, like they're so similar to us. They're also in the process of planning their wedding. So nice to chat about, you know, wedding plans and um, how it's going and what different vendors are charging. And like, honestly, it's just so, so lovely. Um, so we're actually heading out to a bar that I've been recommended by a few people to go and check out. It's in Winchester um, and it's called In... I keep saying it wrong. It's not... Is it Incognito or Incognito? Incognito, I believe. Um, so it's one of those bars that's like supposed to look like a secret bar. Um, and it's basically one of those places where they just do insane cocktails. Like you drink it out of like a fishbowl kind of thing. But like an actual like... Like there's fish, not real fish, but you know what I mean? Like fish floating about in there and stuff like that. It's supposed to be really, really good. So we decided that we're gonna head there tonight and just have a few drinks, a bit of a catch up, probably grab some dinner afterwards. And um, there's loads of places in Winchester just to like grab dinner afterwards. There's like pizza places, um, so many lovely restaurants around the cathedral. Um, last time we were there, we went to the Giggling Squid, which is so, so lovely. Although, Emily's allergic to peanuts, so a Thai place might not be the best idea. Probably end up doing a pizza afterwards, um, just because that's like the easiest thing. So I've just chucked my hair back because I'm not gonna lie, it was really annoying me today. I've just been doing some um, admin work this afternoon and I'm someone that cannot work with my hair fully down. I don't know how people do it. That's why you've probably noticed that I've been doing a lot of like half up, half down looks because the second I sit down to go on my laptop, I feel like I keep almost flashing you. The second I sit down to go on my laptop, it just needs to be out of my face. So I'm just topping up my makeup quickly. I might do a little bit of a, I don't want to do a smoky eye, but just a little bit of eyeshadow just to kind of lift the look ever so slightly to take it from day to night i think i'm going to use this one this is the jenny packham um eyeshadow palette it's the blush nudes eyeshadow palette and that's the shade wood rose They're like a really gorgeous kind of like i mean it's a very bridal palette which is what i really like about it and i do feel like bridal makeup is the epitome of like just soft natural feminine makeup and that's what i really really like recently so actually looking back at some old vlogs from last year and it's kind of insane how much makeup i used to wear like i used to wear full foundation every single day i'd do like a full liner flick um like i would do so much mascara i'd have eyeshadow on and i just i'm not that person anymore like i don't really want to have cakes and cakes of makeup on my face because i just much prefer having like especially day to day a bit more of a natural look i just want to celebrate like my skin um i want to have a my skin but better kind of a look that's always what i'm kind of aiming for um i do still love my liner flick whenever it comes to an evening look and i know that i have taught you guys how to do this liner flick thousands of times so i won't teach you because it's literally the simplest thing ever stamp it on lift from underneath with your nail and that job's a good one. Oh, I've not actually shown you my new nails either. Um, I got my nails done the other day. I'm not sure if I'm loving the shade. I wanted something a little bit more autumnal. Um, so I went for satin pyjamas and then did my favourite negligee over the top. And I'm just not sure if it's like... I don't know if it's giving. My engagement ring keeps twisting around. Don't know if I'm loving the shade. 
I'm undecided. We'll see if it grows on me. Um, but I just wanted something a little bit different because I feel like I've been doing the same grapefruit and negligee for months. I'm just going to do a quick spritz of mm, setting spray um, and then I can put some jewellery on. And I have a few outfit options that I need your guys' help with deciding because it's just going to be drinks and dinner. So it's nothing like fancy or formal. Um, but I do want to look a little bit elevated and I'm thinking the black Sara shirt would be perfect for tonight okay so jewelry wise this is completely twisted um but we're going up for the pearls i do absolutely adore these jenny packham earrings i've been wearing them so so much i feel like they're so perfect for like an evening look just to like elevate it a little bit they're also great when you do hair up because sometimes i do feel like when i have my hair up having like hoop earrings or earrings that come down a bit too low just looks a bit much so i want something that's kind of going to be a bit statement but also balanced um and then i've gone for a little pandora necklace um and then of course my i can never remember the brand that this diamond necklace was from i kept the diamond necklace on because i kind of like how they look stacked um and then going for my vintage style watch a little pandora gold um chain bracelet couldn't remember the name of that for a minute gold chain bracelet and then pandora gold diamond ring and i'm absolutely loving it so option number one for this evening i'm not sure if this is going to be a bit much i've actually just tucked the shirt in i do like how these shirts look tucked in or tucked out i feel like they're just so so beautiful um and i've just gone for this really lovely flowy maxi skirt it's got a big slit in it um which is kind of what's making me think is this a bit too dressy for the evening i also love this look because i feel like look at that leg muscle like it just it just seems to like flatter so perfectly it comes up right to the um perfect spots on me um i'm definitely going to go for these boots i think because these are my vivaya boots i absolutely love them and they're so easy to walk in winchester has lots of cobbled streets so we want something that is going to be comfy um but yeah this is option number one might be a little bit too dressy for this evening but i do think it's a good option to keep in the bank for maybe something a little bit more formal okay. option number two i'm also thinking about bags that i can style up with this um my little ysl cassandra is one that i always bring out of storage every single autumn winter she's usually like my winter handbag for like christmas parties styling things like that um you may remember was it last year i had to get sent off for repair so she's not always a bag i would recommend i feel like you just have to be very careful with her because the buckle um like the clasp to open and close it does break but this one i'm unsure about it's kind of like giving a same same but different vibe it's basically a little bit more loose and cash having the shirt untucked but i think my problem is is that this skirt is just a little bit too short to pair with it i feel like it's just not quite giving me the right proportion so option number okay. two i think option number three is our winner it's giving loose it's giving cash elevated and formal i love it i'm styling my little longchamp bag with it because i really liked how it looked when i started up earlier i feel like it just gives it a little bit more of like a trendy vibe to it um, and then i'm just going to leave the shirt untucked i think it looks quite nice quite loose quite casual and i feel like the reformation skirt is the perfect skirt to start with this the length is stunning i really really love the length of this it just hits so perfectly with a pair of sock boots um and i really love how the shirt looks untucked with it you could tuck it in if you want something a little bit more formal but i quite like how like loose cash cool this is so i feel like this is perfect for just an evening going and drinking cocktails catching up with friends and grabbing a pizza afterwards perfect quick spritz of perfume i think this evening i'm going to go for pomegranate noir from jo malone it's a really really lovely one for this time of year it's very oh it's like fruity but not like summery fruity it's almost like dark winter fruits i feel like is the best way to describe this and it's so lovely for the evening so ready to go for a lovely evening i can't wait to catch up with emily and james so i'll catch you guys tomorrow
everyone can I even say good morning it's 12.08 not quite the morning anymore I am not gonna lie to you I've had a very slow start to the day because I was feeling very delicate this morning I headed straight out to the club for a workout because I don't know about anyone else but when I'm hungover I just want to sweat out the alcohol which I know sounds really really gross but I love a workout when I'm feeling a little bit delicate the next morning I'm usually the kind of person as well when I first wake up I don't feel so delicate but if I kind of just like let myself like wallow in the feeling then as the day goes on I literally feel worse and worse and the only way to kind of like overcome it is to get out go for a walk out, walk out, a workout or a walk or do something just to like move your body and make sure that you stay really nice and hydrated. But wow, was incognito fun yesterday. It was so, so cool. It's actually like incognito in the sense of like we couldn't really find it when we first arrived like google maps where we were like looking we couldn't we were like walking back and forth and then suddenly alex spotted this like tiny little wooden door and went oh my god i think that's it and it just had a tiny little plaque outside saying incognito and the staff were absolutely amazing like they explained every single drink that they brought out to you and we came away with so much goodness i literally have lolly after lolly after lolly this one was from my um uh, what's it called? The, the wheel. <laughs> My brain is not working today. Ferris wheel. It had a Ferris wheel, um, the lolly, and it also had some um, candy floss, which was really, really cool. I've also got a couple of lollies here. And Alex even won on the little pinball machine. But not pinball machine, the grabber machine. Honestly, my brain this morning, guys, it's just frazzled. This morning, it's not even morning. Honestly, I am not cut out for drinking life anymore. Like we had like three cocktails and that was it, but they were strong cocktails. And one thing I will say is they are spenny, like really, really spenny, but you can kind of justify it because they are literally like an experience, like they're a work of art in a cocktail. Um, so they were like 15 to 20 pounds a cocktail, which I feel like for London prices, is just like normal prices for just a glass that you would normally get. Um, but yeah, Alex wants some sweets. Um, so you can do a little logo there that says incognito. It was honestly so, so cool. Um, and there was different like prizes that you could win on that grabber. Um, there was a girl at a table near us that won a free shot. There was someone else that I think won a free drink. Um, so yeah, it was really, really cool. We had such a lovely time with Emily and James. It's always so lovely to catch up with them because they're just like so similar to us. Um, and it was really cool to see like all the different drinks coming out. And we actually came away. I won't show you. I'll be able to show you just like a little corner of it um but we came away with a save the date for their wedding next year which honestly it's less than a year away now and i am so excited for their wedding um so it was really really exciting to get a save of the day and i do feel like ever since starting our own wedding planning journey has really made me like even more appreciative to be invited to someone's wedding because it makes me realize like how expensive it has it is to have people there how kind of like strict you have to be with yourself when it comes to like narrowing down the down the guest list um but i wanted to show you the like floral design because it's so pretty i honestly and again a newfound appreciation for like wedding stationery and things like that because i realize how difficult it is to like choose your wedding stationery so i think this might be a bit of an indication of kind of like the color scheme they're going to be going for for the wedding so that was really really exciting and um the date has gone straight in our diaries for next year so we're really really looking forward to that but today i think it's just going to be a nice chill easy day because i'm feeling very 
after last night's escapades but it really was fun if you're coming down to hampshire i would definitely recommend checking out incognito in winchester it's just such a cool bar like a one once kind of experience like you've just got to do it for the experience and the staff were lovely and the drinks actually tasted good as well i've been to bars before where they've done like cool drinks and they've not actually tasted very nice all the drinks were absolutely delicious um, and there was definitely like something for everyone so yeah such a fun night well i'm sure it's going to be no surprise to anyone that today has not been the most productive day so i've decided that i'm not going to be hard on myself for it i'm just going to kind of lean into it so i'm going to have a bit of an early pamper evening which i have not had in such a long time you might be able to hear i've got the taps running behind me because i am running myself a bath and i actually think this is the first bath of the season, which is very, very exciting. You know me, you'll know I love a bath, especially in like autumn, winter time, just getting cozy, having like a lovely, relaxing bubble bath. Um, so I'm gonna put in the Lavendant, Lavant, Lavant, L'Occitane. You, you would think that I would know the exact pronunciation because this is literally my favorite bath product, the foaming bath. It's lavender scent and so relaxing so lovely to just kind of like soak up all the bubbles and it's not one that leaves my skin feeling like oily at all i hate getting out of the bath and having the products make feel like there's something on my skin i feel really like refreshed afterwards so love using that um, i'm also going to use which is one of my favorite ones just to take off my makeup the l'occitane um oil to milk makeup remover which is such a lovely one just to give my skin like a real refresh again um and then i think i'm just going to kind of like let my scalp and my hair soak in the bath I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of over hair masks at the moment. I feel like the thing that I'm reaching for more and more is doing like a full hair oil, literally soaking my hair in the oil, just giving it like the biggest drink ever. It almost feels like a bath for my hair and it loves this L'Oreal LV Extraordinary Oil. Um, so I'm gonna use that for my hair and then I'm gonna use the Philip Kingsley Scalp Oil. If you're like me and you have an itchy, flaky scalp, this is like the best thing for it. Um, it refreshes, soothes and comforts the scalp and it's an anti-dandruff scalp toner. So these together are like dream team for my scalp and hair. So I'm going to stick on, what am I gonna watch? Or do you know what we've been watching? the new celebs race across the world. And when they say celebs, the only person that's like an actual celeb in there is um, the drummer from McFly, which is really cool that he's in there. But they've got like a race car driver, um, they have a um, news presenter, and they have another singer in there. Um, and they are literally doing a race from Africa to um, Tromso at the top, top of Norway, which is technically in the Arctic Circle. So instead of doing like the race across the world this way, they're kind of doing it that way. Um, and we've already had two episodes in. I've got the third episode to catch up on, so I might stick that on whilst I'm in the bath. I'm very, very much enjoying that. Um, so let me know if you have any new recommendations of TV shows to watch, because I'm really getting back into like watching TV shows. I feel like cozy season is the season that I like to like snuggle down and watch my favorite shows. Oh, I've actually seen there's a new season of Virgin River out on Netflix. So I definitely need to add that to my watch list. So yeah, let me know any TV recommendations down below. If you got to the end of this video, what should we leave down below? Leave me the bubble bath emoji down below or just wear bath. That I know they got to the end, so I'm loving seeing who's been getting to the end of my videos. Recently, it always makes me so happy seeing your comments down there. So leave the bubble bath emoji or the web bath down below in your comment, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah.